My name is David Abramson, and I am the Chief of Ophthalmic Oncology at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. I run the only service dedicated and focused on cancer of the eye and cancers around the eye in a cancer hospital in the United States. Yes, there really is cancer of the eye. In fact, there are more than 50 different kinds of cancers that we deal with. How rare are these? Well, your local ophthalmologist has probably never seen the kinds of cancers we see every day. Treating them requires coordinated care from many different physicians and nurses, and fortunately we have all of that at Memorial Sloan Kettering. We treat adults and children, men and women, young and old, but my own practice is really focused on cancer of the eye of young children called retinoblastoma. It's a deadly cancer. Worldwide, last year, half the children who developed retinoblastoma died before the age of five. That's the sad and the tragic part. But the good part is, we've been able to come up with treatments that save 99% of children's lives, 95% of children's eyes, and 90% of them have 20-20 vision and at least one eye. In fact, We've been able to make this deadly cancer the most curable of all pediatric cancers in the United States. Memorial Sloan Kettering takes all insurance, including Medicaid, so access to care is not a problem. We're able to help these families stay in a McDonald house that has 80 suites nearby, so staying in New York City is not a problem. But these are young families and getting to New York City is a problem. It's a rare cancer. There are only about 275 cases a year in the United States. So our children come from all states and in fact come from all continents except Antarctica. I can save these children. I can save their lives if you can get them here to New York City. Children's Flight of Hope is really the piece that completes our puzzle. What have you accomplished? You saved a child's life, not a child's life, many children's lives. You've saved their eyes, you've saved their vision, and they can go on and live perfectly normal lives. So on behalf of my staff, behalf of the families, and especially on behalf of the children who speak many languages but are too young to say anything, I want to thank you for your generosity and gift, not just of hope, but of life. Thank you.